it's Elle here from Beyond Expectations. Thank you so much for joining me in another video where I answer one of your questions. I'll read out the question, then I'll answer your question and assist you in the best way that I can. I'm very proud of you. Your body physique is how I would like to look. And I struggle so much to get lean. I work my butt off, but I can't find the diet silver lining. I feel exhausted. Well done, you achieved so much. Now, Rita, I must admit, my heart goes out to you. This is not an uncommon question that I get. You work your butt off, you can't find the diet silver lining, and you can't get lean. You find it really hard. The weight loss industry, the diet community, the fitness community would like to lie to you and tell you, look, just buy my Fendangle piece of workout equipment or my app or my fitness thingy and do these exercises and you will get the body of your dreams. It is not true. You are not giving your body the sufficient rest and recovery it needs. Now, this is a big problem I see a lot of women make. They work, they have children, they have a husband, they have family commitments, they have, you know, uh, community commitments, they have work commitments, they have so many commitments. I mean, pick your potion. Every female has so much to contend with. Whether they have children, whether they have family, whether they have a big corporate job, it doesn't matter. They have so much to deal with and then on top of that they put their body under tremendous strain with exercise, tremendous strain with under eating and their bodies are just stuffed and no longer working for them. This is bad. This is a very bad thing. Look, when you exercise, your body creates micro tears and those micro tears heal in your sleep. I will say that again. When you exercise, particularly with weights, you create these micro tears. When they heal, your muscles develop and they become stronger and in some cases bigger. If you are not getting adequate rest, you are not giving your body the chance to heal, recover and repair. So what's going to happen? Well, your body fat will diminish, you'll put on more body fat, and ultimately you won't get to where you want to be. So you don't want to do that. Look, I'm going to make it really simple for you. I'm going to give you my breakdown and I'm going to give you the formula that I've used and John has advocated for many years. 90% has to be your diet. What does that mean? That means that 90% of your time, you know, preparing your meals, getting them ready, doing all that, which takes time, particularly if you have a job, kids, husband, work commitments, social commitments, community commitments, whatever the case may be. There's that. 7% weights, because ultimately weights is going to help you building muscle and 3% cardio. For me personally, I only did cardio at the start of Beyond Expectations is because that's what the doctor said I could do. I just had a baby, two babies, very close together and troubled pregnancies. So I did walking. Walking is great for your health, your cardiovascular health, your mental health, but ultimately, if you want to reshape and transform your body, 90% diet, 7% weight, and 3% cardio. And that is in terms of your time. If you don't have time to exercise, our suggestion to you would be is focus on your nutrition first. Don't burn yourself out. By doing that, you're going to be able to get your body into the state that you want from these principles. I really do hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for asking me such a fantastic question. Don't lose heart. Keep moving forward. Don't give up. I believe in you. I know you can do it. And I thank you for asking this question. Head on over to elip.com and grab yourself a free copy of Seven Rules from Beyond Expectations if you haven't already, Reader. And I thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your thumbs up, comment, support, subscribing and watching and turning on the bell notifications. We appreciate you. Thank you. Goodbye.